Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Look at that fish. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst. Now, in the week leading up to today's shoot, we really haven't had the temperatures needed to make a lot of ice. That's taken a lot of the larger bodies of water that we love to fish at early ice for walleye and made them inaccessible. Now, that's the bad news. So what's the good news? The good news is it's forced us to get outside of our comfort zone, get out there on the road, and chase down some new bites. And that's exactly what today's show is all about. Uh, this summer when PJ Vick and I were talking about destinations, areas we really wanted to get out on the ice and find some new bites, the Missouri River in North Dakota was at the top of the list. Now, the main river portion of the Missouri River, the ice conditions are still a little sketchy, but that doesn't mean there aren't other species we can't target. And on today's show, what we find is a backwaters, an arm off of the Missouri River that is chock full of giant crappies. And we put some new electronics to the test. Uh, if you've not heard of the Mega 360 from Hummingbird, wait till you see what this unit can do out there on the ice to make it a lot easier to find your target species under the ice. So stick around, it's me and PJ Vick out in Western North Dakota on an arm of the Missouri River hunting down big crappies. Smokes! Wow. We found them, bud. That is a mother load. I mean, look at all these things. Just so many fish. Um, but we're, we're fishing a backwater to the Missouri River, an area that's got a good crappie population, just a featureless backwater elbow off the main river. It's hard to find these fish. There's nothing to hold them. Uh, there's no deep water, and there's it, it's all shallow. It, it's all shallow, yeah. It, and just like you said, featureless. It's a sand, silty bottom, all about four and a half feet of water. Um, I We landed right on them. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we can set up the hub anywhere in here and we'd be just golden. Yeah, absolutely. Let's catch some fish. Okay. That is crazy. There we go, James. Did not take long. No. <laughs> I didn't figure it would from what we were seeing. Is that a white? It is a white crop. I like it. Oh, oh he almost threw me down the other hole. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> not the biggest one we're going to catch today, but not a bad start. Oh, you fish. sound so confident. Oh, I, I, like it. I am very confident. <laughs> <laughs> we did see a bunch of fish on the mega. Oh, it's, it's amazing. I mean, and just being, you know, Missouri backwaters, mm -hmm. Missouri River backwaters, I, I have confidence we're going to get some slabs. We'll let that one go. Boop. Off you go, bud. Yeah, I'm using the uh, Pink UV Ultra Light Rip and Wrap. That's one of the fun things about the shallow river crappies is they're extremely aggressive. You can, you can use uh, aggressive jigging tactics, aggressive baits. That one came out of nowhere and just smashed it. So I'm hoping we see more of that this morning. One coming. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right on. Mr. Blackie. There's a few down there. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch over to a UV. There is definitely a couple down there. All right. There you go. Not too shabby. I just love how they fire up on that thing. Right. You know, when they want it, it's just woof it right in. All right, let that one go. Off we go, bud. 
Ice fishing's been put on notice. Strike Master's gonna kick your gas. Meet the lithium 24 volt auger, the 14 pound powerhouse that crushes the performance of standard cordless drills. Lighter weight, more holes per charge, all in a compact design that puts the 24 volt from Strike Master in a class by itself. No more gas and oil, no more lugging around your heavy two stroke auger. It's time to make the switch to Strike Master. Kick your gas. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. We say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, Ice Fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters is the number one ice fishing headquarters. We have everything you need from today's firearms to the latest fishing electronics and the hottest footwear and outdoor apparel. We only carry the best brands at the best prices. Have a question? No problem. We have the most knowledgeable team in the business ready to answer your call personally seven days a week. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota or touching your screen with our state-of-the-art distribution center, we can get you gear when you need it fast. Cast or blast, Reed's has the best service, best advice, and best price guaranteed. There's, hey. there's a better one. Oh yeah, I love the fight in this shallow water. Right? <laughs> oh yeah. You know, back home, we catch them out of that deep water. They just run out of steam. Yeah, they do. Just those lazy head shakes. Not these ones, though. They're they're on a rip. Probably a good 13-incher, I'd say. Not bad. Okay. All right. Very nice Missouri River crappie. Get that one back in. Off you go, bud. Whoop. There we go. That didn't take you long on the switch over. No, I think it's the right color, yeah. All right. Ooh, you're right in the bottom of the lip, fine. I'll just manhand you. There we go. <laughs> sure, they can't sit under the hub, they gotta go and yeah, run just, around. Just off to the side, of course. I do think that noise plays such a huge factor in it. Yeah, it, you could tell. I mean, we were marking them when we first got in there and a little bit of crunching in it. That was the end of that. Those, uh, the whites are a little bit longer, leaner. Little longer and leaner, yeah. The blacks definitely got a bigger build to them. Bigger forehead. Yes. See you later, fish. Choo. So what I did, we kind of lost our cloud cover. I was thinking that maybe they'd get a little less aggressive because of that. So I went to the same color pattern. That's that pink UV, but that's a tumbler spoon. Just a little guy. I'm gonna put a minnow head on it. A little cheater meat. I'm not too proud for it. And that was the first fish I marked, and it ate it. So I consider that a good move, PJ. <laughs> That's a win. <laughs> so here's the downside of the 360, my, why you might not want to get one. It'll show you the fish, and then you need to move. <laughs> if your idea of ice fishing is just popping up a hub house and, you know, sitting there and eating a sandwich, once you know that the fish are no longer underneath you, you just can't sit there and not move. So uh, it, it's a great confidence builder because you can see exactly where they went. But if you're looking for some rest and relaxation, it's not your deal. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that feels right. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we just uh, started, I, I drilled out a whole line of holes, probably about 100, 100 yards long or so, and we're jumping around with that Mega 360 and just pinning them down. And 
there is literally schools of fish swimming around all over on this flat. And I w jumped into a hole that I seen a bunch of fish in and it didn't take too long. Nice big crappie. I like it. Let me get that one back in. Yeah, you can do it. All right. Ultra light rip and wrap. I, I just absolutely love fishing this lure, especially for these shallower, aggressive crappies. I mean, they come up, they look at it, and most of them, you know, if they're gonna bite, they just rage up on it and slurp it right in. I mean, that one had it completely woofed in. Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they like that little spoon, buddy. Yeah, I guess so. Come here. You haven't had anything turn you down? No. I will give you this, though. Those rip and wrap fish are a little bigger. Yeah, yeah, naturally. Which you expect. Yep, big artificials usually catch the bigger fish. All right, we've got to catch a small fish, but I think I can claim that is the smallest fish so far. <laughs> Black crappie there. All right, see you bye. All right, I might need to get a minnow head here. You got pocket minnows? I got pocket minnows. <laughs> right. It's okay, I've got, a, I've got a washing machine at home. <laughs> I do the same thing. I'm not it's, judging. It's all about convenience. Yep. You know, when I'm really on my A game, I'll put them in those bait pucks and all yeah. that stuff. Yep. Today I'm not on my A game. <laughs> well, so far the sunlight hasn't really hurt us, or it doesn't seem like it has. I'm pretty concerned about it. We're fishing during the, the first real nasty cold front of the year. A few days ago out here, it was almost 50 degrees. Today, start of the day, it was three. But if we can keep grinding away on these fish, that'll be just fine. Oh, fish. Ooh. Ooh Good one. Wrong kind. Uh-oh. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> uh, pikey? I don't know. I think it's one of them big white bass. Really? Or a walleye. It was white. Walleye. Nice. Right on. There we go. Not a bad one either. It's extra special on three pound tasks. It is. <laughs> Probably a nice you know, 16 incher. Be a good eating one. That fish did not hesitate on that little ripping wrap. No, they usually don't. All right. Nice eater walleye there. About 16 inches. It actually looks delicious, but I don't think I'm gonna get too many more of the walleye, so we're gonna let this one go. Introducing the new ProSuit Jacket and Bibs from StrikeMaster. Built for the coldest, toughest conditions, the ProSuit features a ripstop polyester outer shell that is as comfortable as it is durable. A puff liner jacket adds both warmth and versatility, while integrated SOS stay on surface flotation provides up to two hours of flotation when the jacket and bibs are worn as a pair. StrikeMaster, the hottest brand on the ice. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. Does your sonar offer dual spectrum chirp, producing razor sharp images on an ultra bright HD display? The ability to tailor the display to the way you fish. Precision GPS functionality with legendary Lake Master mapping to move effortlessly from ice to open water. If not, you should be fishing an Ice Helix, the electronic system that offers all the features and performance successful ice anglers demand, only from Humminbird. Suffix Advanced Mono is now on ice. Our toughest and most sensitive mono, Ev, offers 50% less stretch than standard monofilaments. That means your hook sets are rock solid with virtually no line memory, no matter how cold the conditions. The line you choose is your direct connection between you and your next big bite. With Suffix, there's nothing you can't catch. Always use the best line. This winter, choose Suffix Advanced Ice Monofilament, the mono that thinks it's a braid.
is. Ooh. That one looks like it's got shoulders. It's full and drag, bud. <laughs> Good deal. You're coming on strong with that lure. Yeah, you just take it. <laughs> you were giving me the business this morning with that uh, that rip and wrap. Yeah, it's it's your turn. I agree. It's just doing circles. Yeah, river I, crappies are different. <laughs> yeah. These... Oh, oh, oh. Look at this guy. It's a big white there. I like he, and he liked <laughs> that little spoon. Just woofed it right in. Yeah. I mean, this is probably my favorite Minnesota crappie bait. Right. Right. That thing is just deadly. And apparently it works here too. Yeah, the just crappies are pretty universal that way, aren't they? Look at they? that thing. It's been a while since I've caught a nice white crappie and that qualifies right there. All right, I'm gonna fire that back and I need minnows, I'm out. That's a dandy there. Shoo. Goodbye. Well, it's not three degrees anymore, but I bet you it's not over 10. No, I don't think so. Thankfully, there's no wind which does not happen in North Dakota very often. <laughs> All right, I'm out of minnows. I'll just show you this bait here real quick. Tiny little bugger. That's that pink UV white back glow. It's got a little flipper blade on the bottom. I'm just tipping it with a small minnow head. Definitely one of my favorite crappie baits. And that's kind of an oddball size in that, you know, everything's usually 16th, eighth quarter. I think that's a 1 12th of an ounce spoon. So. Uh, kind of an unusual size, but I think what makes that work is it's just a real slow fall and it flutters real hard from side to side. My hands are cold and I need some bait. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I literally just walked over to the 360 and took a look to see where these fish are situated. Seeing there was probably 15, 20 of them that looked to be right about this hole. Dropped down, had three, four of them come racing up. And uh, yeah, that is a very effective tool. Yep, there we go. Another white crappie. That was after I switched over to that tumbler. James was showing me who was boss and I, I, I just couldn't let it happen any longer. <laughs> All right, there we go. Cool. Off you go. In-Depth Outdoors, Spot on the Spot ID. On today's Spot on the Spot ID, we're gonna talk about a strategy we use to fish one of the most featureless bodies of water I've ever ice fished. Now, at the end of the day, I asked PJ, what was the deepest water you ever fished today? Did you hit five feet? Nope, didn't find anything deeper than four and three quarters foot of water. We didn't fish anything shallower than four and a half either. So uh, to share a map, in our spot on the spot ID today that uh, would be useful to people watching this was next to impossible. Essentially, what we fished was tabletop flat. Now, there is a technique that we used and some new electronics out there that really speed up the process of finding fish in a featureless body of water. And let's keep in mind, crappies don't sit still either. So one of the uh, tools that we use and are just starting to get a feel for uh, in using it in ice fishing is the Mega 360 from Hummingbird. Uh, everybody's heard of side imaging on their boat that looks out to the sides. Well, Hummingbird has a 360 version of that product that does a 360 view under the ice. And what we're able to see is crappies fish out under the ice away from the hole. Uh, we know the direction the school is in, we know where they're going, and that really makes us much more efficient out there on the ice. You're gonna punch fewer holes. And that brings me to the next thing I wanna share. In water this shallow, having a tool like this, the natural tendency would be to go, oh, there's the school, let's run over there and punch a hole on top of it. Of course, what happens is that school scatters and you're back to trying to relocate the school. One of the things that we quickly realized when we we're out there on this body of water is once we found the school, we needed to punch a grid of holes all around that school and then make some of our final holes punched where the school was actually at. What happened then was the school would disturb, it would move around and reschool, and with some luck, we would have a hole that was on or over those fish. Uh, we were not able to do the classic, oh, there's fish over there, punch a hole, 
get right over top of them and catch them. In that shallow of water, those fish were just too spooky. So we've got some great screen captures and some video to share with everybody that really gives you an idea of the information we're able to see out there under the water. This new breed of electronics that are coming out onto the market now that allow an ice angler to see not just what's below their hole, but also out to the sides is really going to revolutionize our sport. So we're just starting to get a feel for it, but do expect a lot more coverage on this technology in the future. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. With the release of the Tungsten Bullfly Jig from BMC, your panfish presentation just got buggier. By creating a spot-on invertebrate imitator destined to fool the most wary panfish, the Tungsten Bullfly Jig is available in nine colors to further accommodate today's angler, including four metallic finishes and five ultra-glow colors, which hold a charge up to 15 minutes. This winter, match the hatch and outsmart the most finicky panfish with the BMC Bullfly Jig. Glacial Lakes Dock is now Glacial Lakes Recreation. Located in Starbuck, Minnesota, we offer the same great location, staff, and service with a new name to better fit our ever-expanding business. As an authorized dealer and service center for Yeti and now Alumalite Ice Houses, we have you covered if you're looking for a new house or just need a little service. Stop in today or check us out online at glacialakesrec.com and make this ice season your most enjoyable and comfortable ever. Did you get him? I got him. What is going on over there? Oh yeah, baby. Good crappie? Yeah, nice one. Yeah. That's a 360 fish right yeah, there. Yes it is. That one gave me the, his hiding spot right away. Another well, nice. It's also a 1.14 p.m. in the uh, midday on yes. a four and a half foot of water fish. Right. That's a winning fish. <laughs> 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 because they got a little sparse there midday. And we punched a bunch of holes, looked around, and we found a little hiding spot here. And it, it didn't take long, we both got bit. Yeah. So that's excellent. One of us may have whiffed. I'm not gonna <laughs> name names. You I'm know. going to, James whiffed, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> I'm willing to. <laughs> All right. There you go. Yeah, Ooh. that one, I mean, he didn't stare at it too long. He actually did it right. the way he's supposed to. You get to that period of the day when the bite slows down and you know now we can tell that they're cruising with the mega 360 yeah or if they're just hunkered down but we've got so many holes punched what I was noticing is you didn't see them cruising through but when you'd go to a hole that you've punched about every other hole you'd have one interaction with the fish that was just basically off to the side sitting on the yeah. bottom he comes over takes a look at it goes Oop. heck no and I'm out of here how about that keep it going <sighs> Oh, that's a little guy. Did you finally stick a I little one? I finally caught a little one. That nice. is the smallest one I've seen yet here. That, that is a potato chip there. <laughs> yeah, and then once they start cruising again, they just, I mean, if you're not in the perfect hole, you will eventually get them to come to you. Yes. Yeah, I would agree with that 100%. Oh, there he is. There you go. Hey, it looks like a nice bend in the rod. I think this is a real one, bud. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's a slabber. Heck yeah, how about that one? That'll fill the, fill the mitt. Boy, I tell you what, when they decide that I'm gonna make a meal out of that, it's yep. just gone. That's a legit fish there. All right, see you later, fish. Ugh. It's pretty cool. I yeah. think we're nowhere near prime on this bite yet. No, no, they're gonna fire up again late this afternoon, no doubt. Ooh! Get him. I'm hooked up. <laughs> and it is hooked 
in the perfect spot, whoop, up awesome. and out. They are all super nice. You do not hook a crappie there very often. <laughs> Bottom lip. All right, get out of there. Nice fish. That's kind of been about our average today. Not that we've had a whole ton of them that were, you know, super giants. We've had some, you know, in that 14 inch range, but that's kind of your average fish here. Mix of blacks and whites. Throw in a couple walleyes and yeah, yeah. ton of it's fun. It's a good day. Bye. All right. Oh, it's getting to be that cold time of the day again. Yeah, I just checked the weather. It got to uh, 17 degrees. Ooh, heat Mommy. wave. The tropical heat wave. Came in above me. Oh, he's, oh, oh, got him. What you got there? I think big crappie. Oh my. No. Stay hooked up. Oh, yes, I got <laughs> it. <laughs> That's a slabber. Yes, it is. Everything was trying to work against you there. That is a dandy for sure. I wasn't too, that was one of those that showed up like mid column. And yeah. it, almost any time when you get them to come in there, and you're able to get above them, that fish is Crack. gonna hit. That fish is gonna hit. All right, we'll get that one back. That's a beautiful crappie. All of 14 inches. Oh, there he is. My turn. All right. Uh, he's not gonna hit 14, but he's a nice one. I'm here, you. We've caught a bunch of nice fish today. That's a black crappie there. Come here, you. Super cool. All right, gonna fire that one back. Goodbye. Ooh, there we go. Yeah. Sun's going down and the bite's heating up, eh, James? Everything's uh, oh. trending up with the temperature. Yes, <laughs> temperature is going down quick. Man, these shallow water crappies, it's like fighting big bluegills, right. you know? Just circles. Yeah, they just do that huge, merry-go-round yeah not too often you're getting ice crappies that rip drag on right you, you know oh. so that brings us to the end of today's show a huge thanks to pj vick for making that trip out to western north dakota let me tell you those road miles really wear on a guy but when you get in on a bite like we saw today even with cold temperatures it's really easy to stay motivated out there on the ice pj can't wait till I get back out on the ice with you to do it all over again. To everyone that tuned into today's show, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.